And welcome back. This is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. My opponent in this upcoming match is Shaman. Shaman is ranked 42nd in his Diamond Division with 1,162 points, 99 wins, and 86 losses. And here we are in the game. I have spawned as the Blue Terran in the north up against Shaman. He is the Red Protoss player in the east. The map is Lost Temple which I hear is so overpowered for Terran. Yeah, that's what I hear. I don't know if I seize it. Um, yeah, pretty early in the game. Not much to talk about. Yeah. Uh, YouTube has actually been very mean to me today. I actually tried to upload a live game, I believe, four times. And every time, it looks like it was going to work. I would come back and it would say, Upload failed because we don't like you. Or whatever. Just said upload failed for some unknown error. Um, I don't know if you guys know this, but ever since I upgraded to the new computer, it takes about four to five hours to upload to YouTube. Now I know why people complain about uploading all the time. Um, it's only, it's about a gig each each file so when I try to upload every StarCraft one is about a, about a gig uh, so it takes you know four to five hours for YouTube to be able to handle it be able to process it all that good stuff um, so sometimes when I leave and come back it's like oh well it decided it did not want to to, to recognize that file so I ended up uh, abandoning that upload I'll try to upload it again tomorrow um, so we'll see how that live game, ever, if it gets up. Um, I, I believe it was a better game than the one I ended up uploading today, actually. Um, I, I always want to give you guys the good games, but the live ones, I can't guarantee, you know, I'll, if I'm going to spend, you know, three hours trying to get a live game up, I'm going to get three games out of it. That's how I feel about it. And I'll pick the best three out of them. Not all of them are going to be good. Some of them are going to be done really fast, like the one I uploaded today. I believe it was only about a five minute match. Uh, but I was just so shocked. And then at the end, I was it was a diamond player, so I wanted to show that. Uh, at least my reaction to it. Reactions are priceless. That's what you want uh, from a live broadcast, I would think, is the reaction. Meanwhile, I am going for the command center, uh, barracks up front, and um, Orbital Command finished. And, you know, pretty standard here. I'm gonna be going for the two racks immediately. Or, sorry, the second racks. And what's this? Am I falling behind? Well, he sees the expand, uh, the add on here. He sees my second rack here, and then he dies. Oh, oh man, I'm so far behind. Oh, can you believe that? Like, I'm at 300. I, I, where's my third barracks? What? What? Oh. I'm doing something new, you guys. I'm going for a 2 racks expansion here. It is not the best 2 racks expansion in the world. Um, really, if, if I was going to be going for this, I don't need any gas for it. But I got gas out of habit. I don't know if I thought when I first got into the game that I wanted to do a 2 racks expansion, or if I decided about halfway through that, um, I w you know, halfway through the opener that I wanted to change it and go for the 2 racks expansion. Um, but here we go. T-Rex expansion on Lost Temple. And as you can see, I, I am pretty high on the gas. Um, that's probably why uh, most players don't go for it very early. Um, need to be getting stim pack, but I don't know. Yeah, don't have enough minerals for it. That's the problem right now. 250 gas this early in the game is not working out well for me. But as soon as the second, uh, the second base is up, we should be seeing a lot more out of it. Looks like an observer is on the way. He is going, looks like, for two gate robo? Really? It's just one gate robo. And then the second gateway's on the way. Now going for three gate. And, yeah, look at that. I still have 300. 
300 gas. That is way too much. Um, definitely need to get that gas a lot later if this is what I'm going to be going for. But, you know, this was my first time trying the two racks. Uh, the two racks expansion. Three racks is now up, but since that second um, command center was up before that third racks did start, it's still considered two racks expansion in my book. I don't know if this is how other players do it, but this is how I do it. And looky here, he's got an observer in my base. He's going to be seeing the three racks. Does not even think to look for the expansion yet. No, he's looking for my army here. And now he sees the expansion. But does so he needs to move in because he simply does not have the army. Oh, well, he doesn't have the expansion or the army. What's going on here? He's fully saturated. I, I don't understand where all where everything went. Um, warp gate technology, of course, is finished. Uh, he's got three gate robo. Uh, I mean, and he's not that far behind here, but. I would think that by this point, if with all that income, that he would have more, but I guess not. This, I guess that's how, st how strong this build is. A pylon going up at the Zelnaga Tower. Uh, engineering Bay going up in the back of my base. Uh, I am getting uh, stim pack and concussive shells. His observer is going to be able to spot everything here. Um, let's look at the army size. He is definitely ahead in gas right now. Thanks to these sentries and the immortals. There's the immortal. <laughs> and it's coming in. Let's see. Oh, no, no, no. Just oh, making just making sure the zealots are ahead. I didn't catch it in time, and I didn't feel comfortable microing back to my orbital command. I'm trying to focus down the immortal. But unfortunately, I selected all my guys to try to do that, and therefore it uh, formed this concave that led a couple marines right up to uh, to the enemy lines, and that's never a good idea because then they usually get sniped right away. And uh, he quickly backs out there, as uh, because he did take quite the hit there in the units lost, even though this army isn't is, is still larger than mine. Let's be honest, it is, you know. Even though I have the larger supply count, that's due to my um, SEVs. Looks like he is just now going to start thinking about going for an expansion. There's the probe, and there's the expansion. At the ten and a half minute mark, um, that is that's pretty standard for what I normally do. But considering the build that he knows that I went for, that is incredibly late. I am going for five racks with the factory right now. Um, weapons level one is on the way. Combat shield is almost finished as well. Trying to snipe a guy? No. And random force field will prevent me from standing in that particular spot. Combat shield is just now finished. These guys instantly getting their supplies from wherever they get their supplies from. Once again, you focus down or at least that's how I do it. Focus down the sentries, focus down the immortals, especially the sentries with the guardian shield active. And I should have enough to fend this off. I do. Even with these zealots coming in now, I'm trying to micro my, mar my marauders, but this guy was just too far out in front. These guys cannot attack from all the way back there. Robotics Bay is coming up. And nothing being produced here. Um, he's still waiting, waiting on that Nexus with just now finished, and he's chrono boosting it, trying to get probes. Th how's the saturation here? Well, yeah, it was decent. I get and wow, that is. He did have quite a few probes there. Let's look at his income right now. He is still ten behind though. That's Probably because I'm oversaturated. At least at one of these. Yes, at this one it looks like still. Uh, 24. 27. That might be a little too much. But I am... Oh, it looks like I can move him here, actually. Yeah, well, you guys need to transfer. 
And I should be seeing that. Oh, now it doesn't look like I do. And look at that. Uh, way too much minerals right now. There's, yeah. And I'm still transferring because I want more minerals. Because even though I have 2,000 of them, it looks like I'm really low in gas. That might be my biggest problem right now. Um, I, s I definitely have the army, right? I, I have the lead in the army r count right now. Do I have the lead in units lost? By a long shot, by 2,000 it looks like. I'm saying this SCV out. Where are you going? You are going here to build your uh, command center. Wow. Anyways, this is something that I do on this map. I don't know how many other players do it. I don't know if it's a smart idea. It's probably not. I never go for the, the high yield here. I don't know why. Um, the high yield is, is very close, relatively easy to defend, you know. It's, it is a huge choke here, but it's easily moved to from, you know, this choke right here. So I don't know why I don't go for this. I, I usually hesitate because there's rocks, but really that's no excuse. You need to go for that high yield. I usually go for another base at this point, or another spawning location for my third base. Colossi are out! Looks like stalkers and zealots, sentries and s colossi, like I said. These, my army is now 1-1. Observer is still in my base. He's able to see this in the entire time, and he's going for Colossus once again. I have said it before, and I'll say it again. I believe that High Templars are a better counter to this Marina Marauder Ball than Colossi. Um, but most people tend to think Colossi, so I, I you know, may maybe I don't know. They do have the Thermal Lance upgrade right now, so they should be able to get quite a bit of damage done. But once again, I would assume that size Storms are better. Planetary Fortress is on the way up here, so we should be seeing a transfer soon. Uh, probably from here. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but it doesn't look like I'm doing it. Instead, I'm going to be moving in here. Stimming up because I know that his army has got to be there. Siege tank moving up once again. Let's use this here because I hardly ever do it. I don't know. The pros always say that they do use it, uh, but I hardly ever do it. And that's the game. It looks like maybe he said good game, but he's not leaving. So I'm moving in. And I'm gonna finish up here. He wants to have a little conversation. I don't mind that. He wants to go over strategy. Um, yeah, he's going to find out in the replay. I can guarantee you he's going to watch the replay. Uh, but yeah, he's like, uh, oh, two Raxis fan? Yeah. That's what I did, baby. Why do I keep saying baby? I, I honestly have no idea. Colossus never gets his shots off. It's still all on the rally point. So, no, he's not here to try to win or anything like that. He's... I just don't know what he's doing here. It's a little bit of bad manners. Um, as you can see, he's not producing anything. He's not doing anything with APM. Um, but yeah, he's... Th this, this is the part that kind of confuses me. He says that he thought that I was 3 raxing, so he played defensively. I wouldn't say that he did play defensively. I, I wouldn't... I I don't know exactly what he went for. What That's why I was kind of like looking at it throughout the game, trying to figure out what was going on. But um, he didn't really seem to get the large army that you would expect for a defensive play. But then again, he didn't get... You know, to me, an offensive and a, an, and a defensive build are very similar. Um, what you want from um, a defensive build is an army to handle the army that comes in. What you want for an offensive build, which is what he should have gone for if, when he saw my two racks expand, is a large army to go in and take out whatever army I have. But instead, he kind of went for tech. So, I, you know, I don't know. Maybe I'm just 
overthinking stuff, and once again, I just don't know Protoss well enough to know exactly what was going on in that game. I did fall apart in the macro, I did mention that a little bit, especially here at the end where I'm not going for much of anything, uh, 2,900, uh, but the game was, was pretty much won by hair, um, but I believe I ended up with like 1,600, 700, uh, which is still way too much, uh, even on five racks, two engineering bays, a factory, uh, and one starport. I do need another starport, probably another factory, uh, back here. Um, once again, even when you win, you can learn from your mistakes. Uh, so I hope you guys enjoyed the game. Hope you enjoyed a new strategy for me. I, I will definitely think about doing this in the future on some of the larger maps. Two racks expansion. It works well. And I'm surprised at how quickly I can get units out because of it. And three racks comes immediately afterwards, let's be honest. So I hope you guys enjoyed the game, hope you laughed, hope you learned, hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.